Today is the day for Disney. Ah! The fast passes are done for the day. This is amazing. This is amazing. The best ride ever. I think I am bleeding right now, and it still was an amazing ride. <laughs> distinctly Chinese. So I'm really excited to see what that means for this park. Come join us. It should be a really fun day. And my document to make sure that we see everything we want to see because I've heard it's going to be crowded. Alright, take the escalator up to the park from the parking lot where we got dropped off. We got dropped off right at 8 o'clock and 8 o'clock is when the park just opened. So it's like go, go, go time. All right, so Peter is running ahead um, to go and start the rental of the wheelchair process. So today is Saturday, and because on Monday um, I had a motorcycle accident in the Philippines, and I'm walking as fast as I possibly can right now, and it hurts. And if I try to do this for the next 14 hours, I'm going to thoroughly regret it. As much as I do not want to be in a wheelchair today, I think it's the best option. And we just heard that all tickets for today are sold out. Today is a holiday weekend here in China, and so, yeah, it is sold out. So I'm glad we got up ahead of time, and that just means that it's going to be a very crowded day. Holy cow, this is the longest walk. We have to get over to that side, and then we wind and wind. But first, we have to walk down this huge stretch. I think we're over halfway. And then some time we're here, we turn around. Oh man, look at this crowd. Guys, we've been walking for 15 minutes and it would have been longer except a really nice policeman like let us cut off half the line. Yes, that is how long and windy everything is. This is crazy. So one of our goals has been to go to all of the Disney's around the world. We have been to both in the US and uh, Paris and now here. And uh, in the next two weeks, we'll be going to Hong Kong and Tokyo. Um, that'll be all of them. All right, 30 minutes and we are finally to this point. We are about to scan our tickets in. This Disney Resort is a far cry from the one in California where you can literally walk from your hotel into the park to your first ride about the same amount of time we just did right now. This park was designed with crowds in mind. 45 minutes and counting. We are through the main gate. Here's the solar wheelchair rental on a super long line. Oh goodness. Another long line. <laughs> Just for the wheelchair. Oh, that's our directions. You sure you want to do this? Okay, after waiting 10 minutes in line, we were almost in the front and then we decided, you know what, I don't know how effective the wheelchair is really going to be because of these crowds and maneuvering around. This is Mickey Avenue. Y'all, distribution already ended for the top three rides. Holy cow. An hour in, it's not even been open an hour in the top three rides. That's how long the wait time is. No way. Ah, crap. All right, I'm to the spot I want to be an hour later. So unfortunately, they kind of screwed up with my plan. My genius plan. The fast passes in an hour of the park being open are done for the day for um, the four major rides that we want to go on. So it means we have to wait. And right now it's a 180 minute wait for the ride we really want to do. Okay, just kidding. It did not make sense to wait three hours in line for one ride. One ride, like that 
that's crazy. So we are going to now do these trails and this looks like a really long line too. <sighs> it ended up being a 60 minute wait for the challenge trails. But this attraction was really unique and we absolutely loved it. Holy cow, that would get you so And that's Roaring Rapids. What? But we're not going on it because Lisa doesn't want to get wet and because we've done one very similar before and we just don't have time. It's, it's too long of a wait time. It's over two hour wait time. The Explorer Canoes. It's pretty fun. But yeah, it's an hour wait. I'm skipping it. So this right here is something that is definitely distinctly Chinese. So this is 12 different things for 12 different, um, I believe it's zodiac signs uh, for the years. And this year, 2018 is year of the dog and it is depicted by Pluto. I love a boo. Beautiful mosaics, wow. And here's the mouse, Ratatouille. These are beautifully mosaic. Oh, it's so nice. I love the Chinese version of these Toy Story characters. So that right there, that is the world's largest and tallest Disney park castle. In 15 minutes, there's a show starting right in front of the castle, so thought we'd stick around. So they combined a bunch of different princesses castles for this one. I love it! are so real here. This is the Voyage of the Crystal Grotto. Ariel ride, boat ride through the beautiful river here. So unlike any other castle, there are actually two rides inside this castle. They have four mosaics and they are This castle is truly magnificent. So it's not just one princess's castle. They combine several different ones. Take your picture in that one. You don't want to wait the time. Okay, Dumbo, let's get this show on the road. Just like in Paris, 150 minute wait time for the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, and yes, we are doing it. All right, by the time we get done with this ride, we would have been in the park for six hours. And in that time, all that we would have gotten to do is see two shows and do two attractions. Snow White is huge here in China, like they love her. Day before
before 3 o'clock. Man, I think we're doing pretty good, babe. <laughs> oh, we started at 9. <laughs> we got here at 8. We got took, here at 8. It took an hour to actually get inside the park. I did hear the lines were going to be a lot, and I did expect them to be even more because it is a holiday. I just was not expecting this much. <laughs> and this is going to be in Chinese, and she said maybe we think, maybe in English subtitles. We'll see. Aloha. Alright, we finally have to use a fast pass that we got at 9 o'clock this morning for the Buzz Lightyear ride. And this one is part three of our international Buzz Lightyear competition. I won in California. And I won in Paris. Now we're going to see who wins here in Shanghai. We like blending the background so much right now. Okay, so Lisa's the queen of the laser gun. By like a hundred thousand. Not by much. We went back and forth the entire yes. time. And the picture of us, I don't know when it was taken, but we were both so serious. It was hilarious. The key is to get those little targets as, as many times as possible. Exercise with Baymax. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Now on to Tron. Tron. I'm going to get back on a motorcycle. Yes, I am. two hour wait time that it is and so I've heard that it's better at night when the bike glows so we're gonna do it then this Toy Story Land literally opened up two days ago that's it um, so we were one of the very first people to see it not really because I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of people come through here every day but okay that's a, that's a little bit of an exaggeration <laughs> but they designed this so that way you feel like you are a toy because everything is larger than life. And so as cool as all of these rides would be to do, we literally just do not have the time today. Um, I, I am shocked because normally like we're able to get to every ride that we want to. Maybe we'll miss like, you know, like a carousel or something like that. But here we are not going to get to like everything we necessarily wanted to. So now we're just doing the musts. And we'll be um, in Disney Hong Kong in just a week. And they also have a Toy Story Land with all the same rides except for Woody Roundup. Very close to the Mater ride in Cars Land in California. And it's a 50 minute wait, unfortunately, but it looks like it's so cute. Oh, the slinky dog, he chases his tail. Oh my goodness, and then backwards. Oh wow, this is so cute. This is the Toy Story food court right here. Oh, those are the toilets. <laughs> Out of all the different um, parks within the park here, this is definitely the most creative, this Toy Story land here. So cute, I love it. Alza Toy Barn. Popsicle stick fence and popsicle stick bench. Pretty cool. The stage for the Frozen sing-along. All right, we're gonna go for that. They wrap it in such cute paper. I love it. Whoa, this is huge. Look at that rice. That is so huge. Never seen rice in a Mickey shape. I love it. <laughs> and this is the Tangled Tavern. Another ride we get to just look at from the outside because we don't have time to do it. <laughs> it's an hour wait. <laughs> Bunch of cute shops and restaurants here in Fantasyland. Another ride that we are not going to do, Peter Pan's Flight. It's an 80 minute wait and we've already done it both in California and also in um, Paris. So we're good. There's so many other things to do. Not enough time. I can't believe this. 80 minute wait time. What? Second time trying to make it into the Tarzan show, and this time we came on time. The first time we came only five minutes before the show was supposed to start. This time we came 35 minutes before the show was supposed to start. They said that you have to show up 30 minutes early if you want a spot. This is going to be a stunt show, so I'm super excited.
like three hours the entire day. So our final part of the park to explore is this, which is Treasure Cove. And I'm so excited for the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. It is actually different um, than any other Pirates of the Caribbean ride in any other park. It uses uh, videos and things throughout the ride. So I've heard it's supposed to be really cool. And uh, I'm excited to do it. 40 minutes? That's great! That's, that's the shortest line we've been in besides Stitch.
all the ones upon a storybook. Oh, so down there are the Four Seasons mosaics. Walking through the castle. They love their Snow White here. Wow, look at that. An hour until closing time, and these are still the wait times. So Mickey Avenue is what replaces Main Street. Much wider sidewalks and anticipation for all of the crowds. And boy, did they anticipate right. I have never been to a more crowded Disney. We were even at uh, California Disney uh, 10 days before Christmas. And that was a little bit hectic, I thought, that, but that, that's nothing compared to this. Um, my suggestion, don't ever come on a holiday. I mean, that's just silly. And you probably need two days. You, uh, not, not probably, you definitely need two days here if you want to see everything. That's all there is to it. Unfortunately, we do not have that time as we're only in Shanghai for four days. And we have a lot more of Shanghai to see. Goodbye, Shanghai Disney. Welcome to Downtown Disney. Disney Town. Well, that's a cool fountain. Wow, I survived on my knee. Oh my goodness, we're back in our gorgeous hotel room. I, what, what a day. We walked nearly 20,000 steps. I knew the crowds were going to be there. I just thought I had planned perfectly. I got to that first ride and it was a three hour wait. My plans for grand things was shot <laughs> thanks for watching thanks for joining us um stay tuned for more china chinese adventures china adventures stay tuned for more shanghai adventures see you in the next video good night time for some sleep after only getting four and a half hours last night and going non-stop today ah! <laughs>